Hey guys, and today I wanted to bring up a subject um, on the uh, 57. Now, I'm sure this uh, problem can be on any of them. And you can see it is empty. Gun is empty. No, no, no rounds in the chamber. But I wanted to bring this up and show you an issue that I noted on the um, this particular 57. It was sort of like this. What would happen is I would go ahead. Yeah, let me get just get it back up here. Okay. I would, you know, cock the slide back. And these are dummy rounds, okay? And I would put this in like this. I would go ahead and uh, try to pull this back. And what would happen when I pulled it back, it would do something like this. See, when I pull that back, it would do that, okay? It would not slide back. Um, so, I went ahead and what I would have to do is press down the slide release and uh, you know kind of would chamber around. Okay, let's go ahead and take it apart and show you what I found which is causing that and kind of what I did to fix it and uh, so go here take the gun apart okay. now once we take the gun apart if you look here go down okay you can see how this is you know, slightly bent down, I actually pushed it in. And I'm going to go ahead and take some some rounds here. You can probably see this better. Now, down here. Okay, you'll notice here, when that goes up, see, you'll notice see how that clears it. What was happening, I had to bend it in. This was out too far, and it actually, you can even see where it was rubbing against the bullets here. It was catching on there, and actually, when uh, you pull the slide back for this to drop, it was hitting the bullets. So this, this part would not drop. See, this normally comes up like this, okay? And your slide, there's an area in your slide Mm, where's that area? Yeah, there's area right here in your slide. See it? Well, this kind of when you slide that back, it catches up, catches up right in there. Okay, and then when you pull back, the spring tension is supposed to drop automatically down, like that. Okay. It, it's supposed to drop down and release and what was happening this was out a little too far what I did is I just bent this back a little and now it's fine because you can see this was actually going a little too far out now I called FN and they said send the gun in wait a few weeks but uh, I don't think it's going to cause any problems what I'll probably do is pop this pen out and straighten this out myself see if I can straighten it but that's going to require me I think I'm sorry what I'll probably do is pop this pen out take this out but that's going to require me probably prying this off I'll have to see how that comes off I'm not really sure but or I could just leave it the way it is it seems like it's going to be fine now because when you put that in there now let's see you see it doesn't it's not hit at all. Plenty of space. See how that goes down? What it was doing, it was hitting on the bullet. It was laying on the bullet every once in a while. We'll catch up on the bullet and lay there. And then what would happen? You slide. When you pull back, you know, this was hitting on the bullet. So, that's probably just something for whatever reason. But I did bend it back a little. I might take this out and flatten it a little bit better. I'm going to see uh, if I can do that. What I did here, I'm going to just show you. There is a little, uh, let me back further down. There's a little spring in here. You can never so see it. There's a teeny spring in here. But as I lifted it up and pushed in this side, because I'm going to take that off. As you can see, let me get just closer. I'm going to slowly wiggle out this little 
card here. They should not have any function with this mechanism here. Let's take this out. Okay, so I pulled out this plug here. And this should free up this part here. I'm going to take this out, try to straighten it out. This loosens this up here. Okay, guys, and you take a screwdriver and just pry it. This little end will pop off. Okay, after you take a screwdriver and just pry this off, this comes right off, and this is this little rod. And this needs to be straightened because it was slightly crooked. Okay, and that is the problem we were having. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see that's out. And I'm going to straighten this rod out, pound it down flat. Hey guys, what I'm actually doing, as you see, that fits in along there. And what's happening, it's not, it's got a little space because it's probably not pushing flush against there. So I just pounded it a few times. And I'm going to see if it fits flusher. And you'll notice it fits better now. See how that is? It's flatter. Um, and it shouldn't come out as much. So I just gave it a little uh, tap to make it more flush. So I'm going to take it back out real quick. And I, I don't want to send the gun in, that's the problem. Okay, so it lays that way. So we will have to have everything pushed in that way a little. So that means taking it and just laying it there and giving it a. You know, just, Give it a few taps like this, just a little, so it, bends in a little, so we gotta, because we want it to actually go this way, so we have to hit it this way, just a little, and now it's actually got a little bend to it. Actually, it looks a little bit better now. Okay, so what's going to happen, this should push this way. If you hit it this way, right? A little. Okay, so that will push this that way. And that's how you want it. You want it to uh, bend, it, bend it this way, it'll push it this way. So I'm going to tap it a little bit more. I think that should be plenty. Let's try it now and put it back in. Let's see how that's going to look. So if you have it in here, okay, slide this in here. Okay, goes right in here. Blah, blah, blah. And you can see already. I think it looks better already. See how it's pushing flat. It's resting flat. And then when you put the button on there. It should be fine. So that looks like it should work good. So let's go ahead and as you can see, let's go ahead and reassemble that and see how that looks. Okay. Put this back together, you're gonna to do it something like this. Take this, okay. Put this kind of goes up and under. Like this. Okay. You're gonna put that down, and you're gonna have to put this. You're gonna have to bring the spring up because this is gonna give. This pushes this back part here pushes against the spring. So what you're gonna do is get your screw. You can find it here. Looks my pile is shut. Okay. See, there's your. Okay. You're gonna take this pen. You gotta bring that spring up. Okay, at the same time, and you you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing, but that spring has got to come up, and you got to kind of hold it while you're putting this pen in there. It's not that difficult, but that's how you got to do it. <clears throat> okay, guys, let me show you what I did here. Okay, I took a punch on this side to line this up. Then what I did is. I brought this spring up and put this in so it catches. 
kind of this is how it's got to go. Do you see that? Kind of just it, it rides against there like that. And I'm just taking a look to see if I actually made it good enough. And I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to bend it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to have to bend this part here back like that also. So I'm going to have to take it back out. So take it out. I just fix this out like this. Pull this back out. Okay, and I'm going to have to take it and just bend this a little so it's pushing this way. So let me go ahead and hit it a few times here. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of made this a little bit better, flatter. Okay, not perfect, but it looks pretty good. So flat is probably going to be, it is actually touching there. So then I got this pen in here, as you can see, and you just wiggle it slowly in. Okay, and it's going to go through the other side. And then while you have that in, get your little straight edge because it has little spring locks in there. You lift up with a straight edge. Hope this is going to do this the best you can see this here. Lift up this little spring. My straight edge and push that in. That's kind of got a lock. Let's see if I get this where you can see. There's a little, a little spring. That's got to go up because these um, right there locks in. So I'm gonna kind of lift it up. Not as easy as it looks. And at the same time, I'm gonna line it with the other side here. And then you probably have to tap it a little bit then. There, tap it a few times. It'll go in. Okay, I'll have to tap it again. There. Okay, let me show you the sides line up. See, it is lining up pretty good there. You can see the line it a little bit better. Tap. It's in. This looks pretty good. Okay. It looks pretty much down now, a little bit better. Okay. So, I mean, you know, the best thing probably just to buy a new one. And put it in. They're not that hard. These parts are about six bucks, but it should be fine now. It's pretty flat. Once you put this in, this is once you put this part in, it's gonna help pull it in, but looks pretty good. So make sure you have it all the way in. You can lift up on that spring again. You should hear it snap in there. Probably already snapped in. There, that's it. Okay, whoop, put the laser in. Now it's back together. Okay, so it looks a lot better. So flat that is. It should be fine. I could have kept mess, uh, paying in and messing with it, but it looks pretty good now. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Now the next thing is to put this on. It is just a pressure kind of fitting, but I'd look in there. And, um, you might want to do this just tap it a few times to make sure that um, the, uh, here the conformity is still there. Sure, it's conform. A little, then I'll flat it out a little. Take it back. This piece just goes right in there like this. Okay. Press it in. Pops in. And actually, it looks a lot better, as you can see in there. Looks a lot better. But it's not hard changing it. It's still a little sloppy, but you know that's that's the best I can get it. What I can you could do is just take this and just like this and just tap it one time. Make sure it goes in, and it looks pretty tight. So there should be some movement, but not not a lot. And then take our magazine. Let's, let's see what's going to happen here with this. Then, 
Yeah, see, it doesn't even hit it, so it looks really good. See, there's plenty of room by there. See how that goes? Looks pretty good. I don't think we're going to have any problems with this. Let's take a look here. Yeah, you got to make sure it clears the bullet. See what I'm looking for? And it does. There should be no movement in there. Once it gets in there, it's pretty tight. See here? It doesn't really. And there's no wiggle room in there. Should not have any wiggle room. So I think it's going to be fine. But this is kind of a fix for if you have it where uh, when you pull that back, because this, what it does is rest on one of the bullets, then what will happen is um, it will cause your slide not to uh, go back all the way. But these guns are pretty easy to take apart. You know, I don't, I don't see a big major. Pretty easy. Make sure it still fires, which it does, as you can see. And even these, see, nothing touches at all. There's plenty of wiggle room in there, and it's not going to hit. But what I would do is probably try to order one of these, and uh, but then everything else looks good. But I wanted to show you that that's uh, if you have that issue with your gun, which a teeny bit of room in there, so actually it's pretty good. I I think we're going to be good now. But that's how you fix it. Like I say. Uh, uh, I know it was hard to see on the video, but you just tap that out. Uh, like I say, there's a little spring in here. You just use a straight edge, you can see it. Now it's kind of hard to get out because I put right in here, there's a little spring. See it? I'm touching that little spring. A little spring in there, you pull that out, and that'll get that off. But that's how I got this fixed. I know it still comes out a little like that. But there's not much. Or it could be used probably to be pounded and a little bit better in there. But thanks a lot guys and uh, that is how you resolve that. Then you just start, go ahead and snap your gun together. Okay, now now you just have to put the gun together. And uh, like I said, you can check it again. Just This is how I check it. I go through and just look at a close up. You want to make sure that it doesn't touch the bullet so it doesn't. There's no way, even if these bullets weren't lined up correctly, you could touch it. Pretty good. That will fix the problems I was having. Let's go ahead and see here. I'm going to just eject this one bullet. Okay, because you see that should come up. And you'll see here, it does not touch the bullet when that comes up at all comes close but it doesn't touch it. It can come close, that's fine, but I think that's going to work fine. Okay. Uh, what you can do is I just put some Renaissance wax or something on there. Anytime you're in, maybe put a little oil. So I'm just going to put a little Renaissance. There's a little lubrication in there. And just do it up and down a little. There. Move it up a little. Okay, and then uh, we can go ahead and reassemble the gun. Standard reassembly. Put that there. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Make sure we can lock our slide back. And then when we pull back, make sure the slide drops. See, it does. Go back again. Uh, we'll take our dummy, dummy loads. Put it in there. Drop it, and it goes. We know the gun's going to fire. Uh, I like trying it with the regular rounds, because that's what I was having. Put it in there. I've got the safety on. Okay, it drops. It looks fine. So, that was uh, what the problem was. And it looks really good now. But I wanted to show you that in case you run into the problems with your gun, uh, so you don't have to send the thing in. Uh, I don't think I'll have any problems. The main problem I was having is, like I said, when I was pulling it, pulling it back and locking it, and I was putting a round in. These are dummy rounds. And I would go ahead like this. And when I would have it in there, when I would pull back on the slide, that wouldn't happen. What would happen is it was hitting on the bullets. 
and it was holding this up, so I had to manually push it down. But I got that fixed. I think she should be good now. I like I like working on them, getting guns working. Everything's good here. Let's see if Okay, it's empty. Go ahead and yep. But thanks a lot for tuning into my video. I uh, appreciate your time, and everybody have a great day. Thanks for uh, uh, tuning in. This is just a little update. Remember, I was telling you about the slide not locking correctly. Uh, let me show you. The gun is empty. And I'm going to take it apart. Let me show you what I did. This is also another fix you can do. Uh, the whole problem lies right here sometimes. This little arm is too long. And um, I'm going to use the real bullets because it's easier to see. So when you put that up, what happens sometimes is this arm will actually rest against the bullet. And that forces the slide not to be able to go down. Because that little tab rests right here. It doesn't really have to be that big. What I did, I took my handy little Dremel, okay, and right here is what I did. I just just sand it that down a little. I also, you know, my other video I um, the one before this that's why I'm adding this onto it I straighten this out by taking it apart but now when it goes in there you'll see you have a heck of a lot more space there's no way that bullets gonna hit there you don't really have to have much of a lip anyway on there for the magazine so that fixes it also after you do it you should get a brush like this you have to sand in there I use a toothbrush and get a little compressed air, blow out any kind of um, debris that's in there. And what I would suggest is put a little lubrication in there. Okay. And then I would go ahead and on a paper, blow it a little bit more so you can blow it right into the gun. Just a blow there. Okay, and then pretty much you're done. Uh, but that is going to help it. You can just sand that little tab down and that will fix it. And then you could polish it, but it doesn't really matter. But these guns are pretty easy to take apart. And then just pop it back together. And you're all set. But uh, go ahead and put a show you that you know that's the best way to do it. Put a dummy round in. You see, goes jacks, and you know everything's going to work there with us this way. And it works fine. But I wanted to show you that, and uh, you could just sand that down. And uh, if you're having problems like that, you may not. Um, you know, it's just a little, probably you made it a little too long. Uh, you don't even have to take that part apart. You don't even have to take this whole uh, button off and the slide rail in there like I have in the first video in here. But I wanted to update that and show you. Um, that was the cause. It was that the arm was too long and it was hitting the bullets. Now everything is pretty good. But thanks a lot for tuning in and that's just the update on that. Thanks a lot.